MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via Video Media. I've travelled to 600 UK today and I'm here to meet with Howard Bamforth, the sales director, and he's going to talk to me about UK manufacturing. Actually on site here they have a machine shop and a manufacturing facility and he's going to talk to us about or show us round where they're making the Colchester machines and also their work holding products. So Howard, this is a great example of manufacturing or UK manufacturing machine tools and work holding. So you're going to talk me through today what you're doing here, the manufacturing process and uh, everything from, well, what's happening? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been manufacturing here on this site for over 100 years now. We're manufacturing the work holding, as you can see here, and we're also manufacturing uh, the lathes, the world famous uh, Colchester Tornado lathe. We have the Alpha and the Standard lathe from Colchester and Harrison. And then obviously we have the chucking from Pratt Bernard. So within the factory here, we uh, reduced the size of the factory 18 months ago but what we did we renovated the factory we renovated all the offices we looked at our processes and we put in lean manufacturing um, and we spent a lot of money making the processes a lot more efficient so that we got chucks and the machines through the factory a lot quicker so we could meet the customer demands. So everything from the raw material will come in through the doors we've just come in. Exactly. And then every process is undertaken from the turning, grinding, everything's done here. Everything is done on house. The only thing, and I don't like to say this, we can't do in house is the uh, heat treatment. But that is subcontracted, but it's only a local company. Because again, the other thing that we like to really push forward with, from our own point of view is we've done a lot of reshoring and we use an awful lot of local companies to uh, help us with our production. So let's have a walk round, no we'll problem. continue our walk yeah. round and see. So here we've actually got... We have one of the chucks, here we manufacture chucks up to 1.2 metres in diameter. Even though we go bigger, again we subcontract the actual turning, but the jaws, the scroll and everything else we can manufacture here on site. So what would be the lead time from material coming in, let's take this as an example, to this going out the door? Uh, a large chuck like this we would look at six to eight weeks. So it's a, it is a short cycle time but as I said it's looking at our processes which we did a few years ago to get those cycle times down. Customers demand it these days. Yeah. You need to get uh, products out there as soon as possible. And you must have made comparisons to having the products manufactured in other areas or to do it here and obviously it's more favourable to do it on site. Absolutely, more favourable to do everything on site under our control here in Heckman Dwight, yes. And that's a big factor, control. Absolutely, absolutely the control, the quality, um, the time scales, the way we manufacture things is all under our control within, within this building which is what we want, it's, it's how we want to produce the parts. And we want to say, and we do say, it's, it's, it's UK manufactured, it's British manufactured, and it's all manufactured here. So the jaws here, um, Howard, they're all being ground here on site? Yes, all the jaws are manually ground here on site. Um, we grind them for the chucks that we're manufacturing, and we can also, uh, we also do them for spares that we sell through, through the uh, sales office as well. And it's a manual grinding operation too? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's quite interesting as well, how because you'd normally, uh, I'd normally only see the finished product, but here you can see it halfway through it's being produced. Yes, yeah. Um, and and that's that is a nice thing as well about you know manufacturing here. You, you watch the process, you watch you watch how the, the the components are built up, how the machine, and then down to our final assembly, and it's. Uh, it's a nice process to watch going through. So and to see how many there are shows you must be absolutely. successful at selling them. Well, I like to think so. <laughs> Being the sales director, that's exactly right. But no, so we have half machine chucks here. On the, on the other side, we have the blanks uh, for the jaws just waiting to go over and be machined on the far side. And here, Howard, you can see you're using your own machines to manufacture parts. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's always a very nice fact when people come on the factory tour to see tornadoes making tornadoes or parts for the chucks. 
So everything that goes out of the factory, Howard, is obviously tested, and that's what you're doing here with the chucks. Yes, yeah, this is the, the main test area. The chucks are always um, are assembled here, then they're tested before they go out. And obviously with a, a company like our own, uh, the, the quality aspect is paramount. Um, we've got a, all our companies are built on, on the quality issues, the, 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 the quality of our manufacturer, so if we lose the quality, we lose the sale. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it is, as I said, it is absolutely paramount to us here within the factory. So we turn our attention here, Howard, to the machine tool side of things. And here you're manufacturing the beds and... Yeah, we do the beds, we do the headstock, we do the saddles, we do all the slides, we do all the motor mounting brackets. So all the main mechanics of the, of the machine are done here on site. So the bed itself is machined and also ground? It is, here, here in, in Heckman Dwight, yeah. And equally the other parts that are on the fixtures yes, as well? Yes, that, that's very true, yeah, yeah. So the heads here then, Howard, they're coming in here for machining? Yes, they come in. Uh, we, we machine the spindle uh, bearing um, location faces um, on the jig borers. Um, then once, we, once they're finished, we go into the clean room where they're assembled up. Uh, and then over the far side is where we test them, run them up, run the bearings in, make sure everything's okay before we actually go to the, the machine assembly. I feel privileged to be here today, but in addition to that, I often think, do you bring engineers in here to look at these as well? Uh, absolutely, if, if people who buy machines want to come and have a look, not a problem, they can see the machine in build. We also uh, are open to educational tours, which we've started doing quite a few of, um, trying to get the kids interested in, ed in engineering um, and at the moment they are working out absolutely fantastic and we're getting a lot of positive feedback from it. So we've seen all the manufacturing now Howard, we're now into the assembly. Yeah everything comes together here, um, as you can see around about we have the assemblies which are then all fixed onto the bed here which we uh, assemble up on the flat so that we can get the tolerances and the accuracies we need to make the tornado laid. From a time scale, how, how long would it take to assemble a machine from point zero to finished? Uh, from, from here, we would go three to four weeks. Um, as long as everything's available, which yeah. it normally is, uh, it is, it is a quick process. So that three to four weeks that you talk about, Howard, that includes having the outer shell of the machine put on and all the electrics? Yes, yeah. Once, once the uh, assembly is made onto the bed, we tip the bed, put it onto the base, which is filled up uh, with concrete uh, underneath, here, underneath the skin. We then put on all the sheet metal uh, and then we put on the electrics, which again, the electrics are manufactured here uh, and assembled here. Um, once we've done all, the, all the, those components, powered the machine up, we then fully test the machine, we run it through cycles, we do overnight runs to make sure the machine is 100% inspected before it uh, is packed up and leaves the building. So we're nearing the end of our tour here today and it's been a really good insight. If I was an engineer, I can come here, I can see a machine being manufactured, assembled, tested and then dispatched. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, more than welcome for anyone to come and visit our factory, have a look round, as you say, see the components coming in, watch them being machined, watch the chucks and, and the machine tools being manufactured, uh, inspected, we'll go through all the procedures we go through and then out the door and into their factory. It's not a problem and many thanks for coming and looking at us. Howard, thank you for your time, it's been Cheers. a real education. Thank you. Thank you. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.